The Mille Lacs Band of Ojibwe celebrated its 50th annual traditional powwow with three days of events. With over 600 dancers, this year's powwow was one of the biggest yet. Our Logan Gay has more. There was a spiritual feeling in the air at the Mille Lacs Band of Ojibwe powwow with the pounding of the drums, the traditional singing, and dancing. Tribes from all over the country came together to celebrate their culture. We have people from Ho-Chunk, um, I think Stonebridge, one of our um, invited drums is from Grand Portage. Um, Pipestone, one of our other co-host drums, is from LCO, La Couture. Traditional dancing and clothing are very important to the Native American culture. The ladies and the men have different dances. I think one of the most important ones for us right now is the jingle dress because that's like we're the home of the jingle dress and it's like a healing dress. There's women's fancy shawl. Um, when they dance, they represent the butterfly. The powwows give many Native Americans a reason to let go of the pain that has plagued their families for generations. We've been through a lot of hurt, you know, all of us, we all, a lot of us suffer from, you know, post-traumatic stress disorder, depression, anxiety. You know, I've seen a lot of our younger generation go through all of this, me as well. So it's like, you know, coming to powwows, being out with our families, it's the time we get together and no drama, no nothing, no worries. It's just us out in a circle feeling ourselves. Although the Mille Lacs Band of Ojibwe is celebrating 50 years of powwows, they have no plans on slowing down. Passing on the customs of their ancestors is a high priority. Kind of keeps us together, and if we lose our traditions, if we lose our culture and our language, then who are we? We're just like everyone else, you know, and so it's important to make sure that we keep carrying those on for the generations to come. In Onamia, Logan Gay, Lakeland News. The powwow takes place every year in August and is free and open to the public. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.